Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to show you some new knives that SEMA was nice enough to send to me for review. These are folding knives that I would consider good for survival and for preppers. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. If you guys remember, a while back on my channel I reviewed the, uh, the SEMA fixed blade knife. And I really like this thing. I've used it only a few times since the review. I haven't really beaten the heck out of it. Because um, I have so many other knives that I use. And I forget to because it's in one of my bags. But I mean, it's just, it's kept an edge nice. It's really, really comfortable to use. And uh, I guess the folks at SEMA saw my review and liked it. So they decided to send me a couple of their folders for review. And these are folders that I would consider useful for preppers and survivalists for everyday carry, okay? Um, there are a lot of nice looking knives out there that, eh, I don't know that I'd carry them every day, you know, for, uh, for, you know, with prepping in mind or survival in mind. The reason I like these is because they're big, they're beefy, they're comfortable, some of them have multi-functions on them, monthly uses. But the first one I'm going to take a look at is the M831. This is the tactical cleaver flipper, okay? You've probably seen this knife um, before other channels have reviewed it. It is a very nice knife. It is well made. I mean this thing is beefy and nice looking. It's a very comfortable knife to hold in your hand. Now I'm going to zoom up close and give you a look at it. Alright, blade steel on this is 5CR15 MOV. It's got a little G10 insert on this side. It is an open, as you can tell, liner lock. Stainless steel on the other side. Open, it is 7.8 inches long. Closed, it is 4.5 inches long. And the blade length of 3.3 inches. It is a hollow ground, kind of a worn cliff, cleaver kind of looking blade. Give you a close look at the, uh, the blade shape up front. And this thing came razor sharp from the factory. You have your little blue highlights, your torque screws, your thumb stud, and that little liner in the back. I'll talk about this little edge here later. Um, some people have had a problem with it. Me, I haven't. I don't know if I can show you how ridiculously sharp this knife is. I mean, it's just taking hair right off my arm. This thing came really, really sharp from the factory. I got a little bald spot there now. Um, it's a very comfortable knife to hold. And that's where we'll get into the part about the back piece here. Some people have complained that this is a hot spot for them. Now, if you look at the way I'm holding it, it's on the edge of my hand there. If my hands were a little smaller, and maybe I was holding it in here and it was digging in, or a little bigger, I should say, and it was digging in, I can understand that. But with me, with a hand like that, it's either off the edge or far, far away. So... That is the uh, M831 Tactical flipper, flipper Knife. It does have a nice flipper action. I'm going to zoom out again so you guys can see. There we go. So let's fold it up. It flips right out. And um, I like the blade. I like the heft to it. Um, I kind of like the, the blue accents on it, on the clip. The clip is a very nice, strong clip. It's not a piece of junk that's going to bend off any day now. You know what I noticed, and this is the little details, is the blade centering on this. That is right in the center. For a knife that's under 20 bucks, that's not bad, I gotta say. So that's the M831. That's the one you've probably seen a lot of people review. The next knife, now the only information I was able to get on this, I emailed them back because they didn't send me a model number on it and I never heard back from them, was this is the SEMA Camping Survival Folding Knife with Seatbelt Cutter and Glass Breaker. That's how it's described on the box itself. And I had to translate the Chinese that was on the box to begin with. This is a very big, comfortable knife. This is more geared towards um, outdoors. Um, you know, if I knew I was going somewhere and I had my fixed blade, I'd probably bring this as a backup. You have a nice glass breaker on the end or rock crusher, whatever you want to use it for. You have a nice cutter here, line cutter. I've got some cord here, some, uh, let's get it in there and see. It tears right through it. Just some jute twine. If you want to cut some up to make a fire or whatever, cut it up, fluff it up, you can make yourself a fire. It's got a nice spine. 
on here, nice 90 degree spine. The centering on it is pretty good. It's a little to the right, but almost dead on. Real G10 scales, very comfortable. Um, something I noticed, I'm gonna flip this open. It's still very stiff. Um, something I noticed is when I hold this, my fingers tend to go right into that groove that's in the G10. That is a real comfortable feel. And also the jimping, while it's up there, a little on here, a little on here, and a little on the G10 itself, it's not obnoxious. You know, it's not sharp and painful. It's kind of a nice, smooth, even kind of feel right there. Um, you've got a little bit of scalloping here for your fingers. It's a very comfortable knife to hold. And here's the real kicker. That's a folding knife. This is their fixed blade. It's bigger than their fixed blade knife. So if you're looking to carry a folding, concealed, easy to carry pocket knife um, that you may want to use for outdoor situations, wouldn't hesitate to carry this. Uh, again, nice pocket clip, very well made, very heavy, feels very sturdy. It's another liner lock right there. Um, I was able to find out that it has the same steel. It's got the 5CR15 uh, CR MOV stainless steel. Um, and I like the other functions on it that uh, can come in handy for cutting paracord like I did with jute twine. This can come in handy if you're trapped in a car and you gotta break your way out, you know, break the glass, whatever. And the rest of the knife just feels good in your hand. So that is the SEMA Camping Survival Folding Knife with seat belt cutter and glass breaker. When I do find more information on this, because I'm sure they'll email me back, I did want to put the video up, you know, to show you, but I'm sure they'll email me back with info. When I do get more information on this particular knife, I will put it in the description down below. But all in all, I'm pleased with these knives. I'm going to carry them around for a while. If I run into any problems, I will be sure to do an update video. But uh, gotta say, they are really, really comfortable. They came, both came ridiculously sharp. Again, let's see if I can show it here. It doesn't show up well on my camera. But I mean, I'm just. Eh. It just shaves hair right off. And I haven't touched these up yet. I also haven't beaten the heck out of them. But um, we'll do a quick paper test on both of them here. All right, let's just right through it. Try this one here. Yep, right through it. These things are razor sharp. So, you know, for, for under 20 bucks each, you really can't go wrong with these knives from SEMA. And um, the reason I picked these was because these were the two that I felt would be most useful to an everyday carry type prepper that wants to have a knife on them. Um, this more for, I kind of like the way it looked. Plus I like the big beefy blade, you know, and the good lock up on it. It is a liner lock, but I'm not going to worry if I have to baton that through a piece of wood or something. That's in there pretty good. And this, because it's got so many functions, it's big like a fixed blade, and it's got the glass breaker and cutter. And it just feels more like a survival fixed blade knife. So anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our Amazon link down below. Um, you can go on there. You can shop, buy pretty much anything you need. You don't have to buy what's in the Amazon store itself. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life. We have an excellent way for you to stock up on uh, emergency freeze-dried food. Thrive makes some of the best stuff out there. Seriously, if you've tried freeze-dried food, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.